I'm Sam Keltz. I'm a professional saddle bronc rider. We're in Williams Lake, BC here. It's one of the big 4th of July rodeos for Cowboy Christmas. This time of year is very busy for us. We'll be doing usually at least one rodeo a day. A lot of days we'll do two, and we'll travel anywhere from South Texas to Northern Alberta. The basics of bronc riding is spraying your horse out, which is having your feet up in his neck, and that gives the horse the advantage of the start. And then um, staying on and making the best spur ride you can. Half the mark comes from your horse, so 50 points are how hard your horse bucks, 50 points are how well you ride your horse. They call the bron bronc riding a classic event of rodeo because it's kind of where rodeo started. It's from the ranch cowboys, breaking colts and stuff and then turn into a contest from there. Ah, oh, it beats having a real job. <laughs> What's the worst part? Oh, probably all the driving. We spend, well, we'll go to usually a hundred, maybe a couple more, a little over a hundred rodeos a year. We put on usually driving about a hundred thousand miles a year or so. This is my Bronx saddle. It's very similar to a regular stock saddle. Main difference is there's no horn for a safety procedure. <laughs> and instead of your stirrup leathers hanging straight down, they're tied up, so that helps to keep your stirrups. Next big piece of equipment is this bronc rein. It's just a braided rein. Attach it to the halter and put that on the head of your horse, and this is what we hang on with. Our bronc riding boots are basically just a regular cowboy boot. A little short, shorter spur in the bronc riding than a lot of the other events, just a dull dull rout spur. Things here are shafts. Those are just for protection, protecting our legs in the chutes and from against our saddle. Protective vest, it's just got some dense foam in it. It's not bulletproof by any means, but it helps, helps save maybe some broken ribs and scrapes and scuffs. It's a rough event and the guy usually gets in a wreck or two every, every year, but Hopefully not too often. Now the Texas Junior Hall of Fame is now the Canadian champion. Not only that, is that one of them. Chance will have been the best of the Canadian Prime Journal. Sam Cal. All right, Sam. Take a ride. Look at this. Yeah, I'm going to the side. I'm 80 and a half.